Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to talk about burn rate. Burn rate of a business. So let's start with the outlines what we are going to learn today. We will see what is burn rate first. Then we will see the current burn rate with the help of example and a formula. Monthly burn rate, net burn rate, gross burn rate and what if the burn rate is high, what it means and ways to decrease high burn rate. So these are the things we are going to discuss in this video inshallah. So let's start first with the burn rate. What is burn rate? What are the factors involved? The burn rate is equal to costs and a negative cash flow. These are the one factor which is involved in burn rate is negative cash flow or the costs of the business. So what is burn rate? How fast a company spending or burns its liquid cash? How fast a company spends his money or making expenses? This is called the burn rate. Now we will move to the burn rate like current burn rate and how we can calculate it. The current burn rate is equal to cash balance in prior month minus cash balance in current month. For example, suppose if a company has its beginning balance on January 1st, 2021, 50,000 and ending balance on January 31st, 2021, 25,000. Then the current burn rate will be 25,000 minus 50,000 is equal to minus 25,000. So it means they are making in one month 25,000. So 25,000 is the monthly burn rate of a company. This is the current burn rate. So 25,000 divided by the total 50,000 is equal to 50%. 50% is the burn rate which is the current burn rate of a business in one month. The next is the monthly burn rate. Monthly burn rate is equal to cash balance beginning of the period minus cash balance ending of the period divided by number of months in a period. For example, suppose if a company has its startup balance on January 1st, 2020, 150,000 and ending balance on June 30th, 2020, 75,000. Then the monthly burn rate will be 150,000 minus 75,000 divided by 6 January, February, March, April, May, June. These are the 6 months. When we divide it by 6 months, we are getting the burn rate 12.5,000. So 12.5,000 divided by 150,000. So the monthly burn rate will be 8.33%. So the next net burn rate. What is net burn rate? Net burn rate is total cash in minus total cash out. Suppose if your company is spending per month 50,000 and generating cash income of 25,000. Some companies which are starting but they are making income also along with their spendings. So then the net burn rate will be 25,000 per month because the spending is 50,000, they are burning 50,000 but along with the burning they are generating 25,000. So 25,000 minus 50,000 is equal to minus 50,000 is the spending or the burn rate of the company. This is the net burn rate. Expenses minus revenues. So some income is coming and some money is going. So the difference of both will be our burn rate, net burn rate. Now the next is the gross burn rate. The gross burn rate is equal to total cash out in a certain period of time. So the gross is the total cash out, the total spending of a business. Suppose if your company is spending per month 50,000, then its gross burn rate will be 50,000 per month. If your company is spending like 500,000 in a year, 
so it means if you divide 500,000 into 12 so the answer will be your burn rate per month so that is the gross per month rate the next what does a high burn rate mean when your burn rate is high it means that your company is spending too much so they have to keep in mind they have to go by the budget and spend the money according to the use according to the need of the business so the high burn rate will be making you out of cash as fast as it happens so it means that you have to decrease your burn rate to go smoothly with the business needs so you will be not run out of the cash fast so how to reduce the burn rate there are certain things that you need to keep in your mind the first thing you need to keep in mind you need to increase your revenue when you will increase your revenue you will be generating some cash inflow when you generating cash inflow your spending will be minus by the income so the difference will be the burn rate as we discussed earlier our uh, net burn rate the next thing you need to decrease your expenses the costs the spending the way you are spending you need to change your style or behavior you need to think that which area needs more spending and which area needs less spending so you need to decrease your costs and try to increase the income so it will reduce your burn rate of the business so your cash will run smoothly with your business so you will be developing at a time in business so this is the concept of burn rate and the types of different burn rates how we can calculate so i hope you guys understand so please subscribe my channel so it's keep motivated me to create more videos for you thank you very much and goodbye